Hi year one. Hope you're all still doing really, really well. Thank you to everyone who sent me some pictures of what you've been up to this past week. There are some people I still haven't heard from, so if you'd like to show me what you've been doing, I'd love to see it. Whether it's the learning activities that I've sent at home to you or something different, I'd love to see that too. I started my morning feeling a bit sad this morning, so I sat and I watched your beautiful video with all of your lovely messages and it really cheered me up, so I'm in a fantastic mood. I think we're going to be finishing our story today, so uh, this week we've been reading Roll Dial's The Enormous Crocodile. If you haven't joined us for any of them yet, go back and have a look at the other videos. So far we know that we have met this enormous crocodile, he's very terrible, he's feeling very very hungry and he wants to eat some children. He has been up to some clever tricks. Trick number one was to pretending that he was a coconut tree. That didn't work because Humpy Rumpy knocked him down. Trick number two was pretending to be a seesaw in the playground. We didn't find out whether that trick worked. We were just about to find out. The children were just going to go, go and sit on him. And we were going to see what happens. I wonder what you think if yesterday, if you had a go at predicting, I wonder if you can see whether yours, your prediction was right or not. So let's find out. I've got a feeling we're going to finish the story today because there's not too much left. So there he is. At that moment, there was a flash of brown. Oh, look who it is. And something jumped into the playground and hopped up on the swings. It was Mugglewump the monkey. Run, Mugglewump shouted to the children. All of you, run, run, run. That's not a seesaw. It's the enormous crocodile and he wants to eat you up. The children screamed and ran for their lives. Mugglewump disappeared back into the jungle and the enormous crocodile was left alone in the playground. Oh, thank goodness. It's a good job all these other animals that he met in the jungle are all stopping him doing his horrible tricks. He cursed the monkey and waddled back into the bushes to hide. I'm getting hungrier and hungrier, he said. I shall have to eat at least four children now before I'm full up. The enormous crocodile crept around the edge of town, taking great care not to be seen. He came to a place where they were getting ready to have a fair. There were slides and swings and dodgem cars and people selling popcorn and candy floss. There was also a big roundabout. The roundabout had marvellous wooden creatures for the children to ride on. There were white horses and lions and tigers and mermaids with fish tails and fearsome dragons with red tongues sticking out of their mouths. You can see all of those on there. Now for clever trick number three, said the enormous crocodile licking his lips. When no one was looking, he crept up onto the roundabout and put himself between a wooden lion, oh there he is, look, and a fearsome dragon. He sat up a bit on his back legs and kept very still. He looked exactly like a wooden crocodile on the roundabout. Oh, that is a clever trick. Soon, all sorts of children came flocking to the fair. Several of them ran towards the roundabout. They were very excited. I'm going to ride the dragon, cried one. I'm going on the lovely white horse, cried another. I'm going on the lion, cried a third one. And one little girl, whose name was Jill, said, I'm going to ride on that funny old wooden crocodile. The enormous crocodile kept very still, but he could see the little girl coming towards him. Yummy, yum, yum, he thought. I'll gulp her up easily in one gollop. What do we think is going to happen? If we think back to the other clever tricks that he had, when he had the clever trick of being the coconut tree, Humpy Rumpy came and stopped him. When he had the trick of the seesaw, Mugglewump came to stop him. I wonder, is one of the other animals going to come and stop him from this one? Let's find out. Ah, oh, right. It's the roly-poly bird. Suddenly there was a swish and a swoosh and something came swishing and swooshing out of the sky. It was the roly-poly bird. He flew round and round the roundabout singing, Look out, Jill! Look out! Look out! Don't ride on that crocodile! Jill stopped and looked up. That's not a wooden crocodile, sang the roly-poly bird. It's a real one. 
It's the enormous crocodile from the river and he wants to eat you up. Jill turned and ran. So did all the other children. Even the man who was working on the roundabout jumped off it and ran away as fast as he could. The enormous crocodile cursed the roly-poly bird and waddled back into the bushes to hide. I'm so hungry now, he said to himself. I could eat six children before I'm full up. Just outside the town there was a pretty little field with trees and bushes all round it. This was called the picnic place. There were several wooden tables and long benches and people were allowed to go there and have a picnic at any time. The enormous crocodile crept over to the picnic place. There was no one in sight. Now for clever trick number four. He picked a lovely bunch of flowers and arranged it on the table. From the same table, he took away one of the benches and hid it in the bushes. Oh, look, he's going to pretend to be the bench. Then he put himself in the place where the bench had been. By tucking his head under his chest and twisting his tail out of sight, he made himself look very much like a long wooden bench with four legs. Soon, two boys and two girls came along carrying baskets of food. They were all from one family and their mother had said they could go out and have a picnic together. Which table should we sit at? said one. Let's take the table with the lovely flowers on it, said another. The enormous crocodile kept quiet as a mouse. I shall eat them all, he said to himself. They will come and sit on my back and I will swizzle my head round quickly and after that it will be squish, crunch, gollop. I think he's going to get away with it. I was wondering when Trunky the elephant was going to pop up. Suddenly, a big, deep voice from the jungle shouted, Stand back, children! Stand back! Stand back! The children stopped and stared at the place where the voice was coming from. Then, with a crashing of branches, Trunky the elephant came rushing out of the jungle. That's not a bench you were sitting on, he bellowed. It's the enormous crocodile, and he wants to eat you all up. Trunky trotted over to the spot where the enormous crocodile was, standing, and quick as a flash he wrapped his trunk around the crocodile's tail and hoisted him up into the air. Hey, let me go, yelled the enormous crocodile, who was now dangling upside down. Let me go, let me go. No, said Trunky, I will not let you go. We've all had quite enough of your clever tricks. Trunky began to swing the crocodile round and round in the air. At first he swung him slowly, then he swung him faster and faster and faster and faster still. The enormous crocodile was just a blurry circle going round and round Trunky's head. Suddenly Trunky let go of Crocodile's tail and the crocodile went shooting high up into the sky like a huge green rocket. Up and up he went, higher and higher and faster and faster. He was going so fast and so high that soon the earth was a tiny dot miles below. He whizzed on and on, he whizzed far into space, he whizzed past the moon, he whizzed past the stars and the planets until at last, with the most tremendous bang, the enormous crocodile crashed head first into the hot hot sun and he was sizzled up like a sausage. That brings us to the end of our story. I really hope you enjoyed that story as much as me. Roald Dahl is one of my favourite authors and I think I might see if I can find another Roald Dahl story to read to you for the rest of this week. I loved all of the brilliant language in there that he uses and even he used some made-believe words which I think were really enjoyable. I hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.